as a very first step, you need to install the R package for once. So you can simply do it by writing install packages ggplot2 and run this script. Step is to load the library ggplot2 every time you use R. So you can see you run this script and it's blue. It means it has no error. Let's move on to load our data set. Our data is global annual temperature and I want to say yes to the heading. I want to see that uh, all the variables and this is data set from 1850 to 2021. All the change in the temperature, it is in there. So now I've loaded it. Uh, so the file name is too long. I don't want to write the file name throughout my script. So I change it to data frame. So DF, wherever I will use in, in my script, I will use DF. That would mean that is equal to my data set. Creating ggplot2, my data frame. And then after that, I will define my x-axis by aesthetic AES. And in the bracket, you will define x-axis and y-axis. On X, I have kept time and on Y, I have kept anomaly. I will run this part and it give a base graph. It has nothing on it because I have not defined that what type of graph I want, line, bar or column, what I want. So for this case, I want geom line. Let's see, let's run the script till now. Now you have a line, it looks that uh, our data is on the plot, but it still doesn't look very much visually defined. I want to do so many changes. Let's start by changing the color of the line red, and I want to increase and decrease and see what looks better. With alpha, you can change the opacity of the color. I don't want very bright red. I want to decrease the opacity. That would be alpha equal. And if you keep um, adding any more information, you keep adding plus sign. Now you see, but it's still, it it still doesn't look very refined. I want to change the font colors, font size, and the breaks on X and Y axis. Now I am changing the, the breaks on, on the X axis and Y axis. So you can see my starting is 1850 year and 2021. I want to define R, these limits, stay in these limits, and I want to define breaks for 20 years. For that, I will define the width, break width. Here it is. I want to break the width as 20. So to, after 20 years apart, on x-axis, it will give me the titles, text axis on x. Same I want to do with the y, y scale. You can copy the text above and then you can change the values, but I'm writing here to explain you in detail. Here that, uh, on y-axis, it is temperature anomaly. So I want it to be between minus 0 0.8 to 1 with the breaks of 0 0.2. Let's run this part. Yes, it has followed the instructions as we have written. I want to change the labels here. Now, labels, title, I haven't thought of it any title, so I will leave it as blank and later I will come back and write the title. That would be easy. On Y, I want to write temperature anomaly. And on X axis, I want to write year. Okay, now on the next step, you can define the themes. There are many different themes that you can choose that has uh, their own characteristics in terms of font and grids. I have chosen theme light, but it still doesn't look good. I want to keep, I want no grid at all. So let's see theme classic. And all themes have their own fonts, sizes and everything. You can still make some variation. You can make, you can customize the themes as well. Here now the theme is classic and, but I don't want, I want to change the font size. So I will see, say that base family equals serif. 
it is changed. You can see on both sides, the text font has changed in titles and access also. So I want to change some, uh, I want to change the access, text, color, size, horizontal justification and vertical justification. So I think you should keep this part uh, on a sheet separately where you can, where you can just add it. Just add it to your script. And if you want to bold it, you can change the face to from plain to bold or italic. Let's change. Let's change into bold and just to show you. the colors have been changed but it it doesn't look good i will i just uh, i just changed the script to show you that it can be done so i will reverse the changes changes are now reversed you can see Now on the on the very top left, I want to write some text. So you can write it by giving a command annotate and I want to keep it as text and you can define the positions X and Y based on your data, roughly where you want your text to be. You can define its size and in label, you will write that what your, you want your text to be. So I want to provide a brief descriptions anomalies relative to 1960 to 1990s that I want to write on top of my graph. Now you see that it is exactly on the position I've defined based on the X axis and Y axis. It is a very simple basic line graph using just one variable. You can add much more detail. You can make changes within the script you have written and can create your own customized plot.